Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got kind of an opening unboxing, first impression of a uh, an item that's I've been wondering about for quite a while. Amazon's been suggesting it to me regularly. Um, and then finally I decided to pull the trigger on the uh, six and a half bucks that this thing cost. Um, I think it's gonna be well worth it, but I have not handled one. I've never even seen one in the wild. Um, so that's all the more reason to try it out. And today I'm gonna crack it open with the Stanley Fat Max. And the reason is there's a, a YouTube uh, response video about my thoughts on this thing. Um, the uh, channel is called The Truck Guy and I'll link it below. Um, he seems to uh, really like this knife. So he was kind of making a very friendly alternate opinion, totally fine. I think that's what makes the world go round and I enjoyed watching his video and I encourage you to to subscribe as well to his video, uh, just simply because he's over halfway um, to his thousand subscribers. And in case you didn't know, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watching is what turns on some of the magical features of YouTube to make it more worthwhile for creating content. Now, of course, you know my content, I produce video every single day. So what I lack in quality, I try to make up in quantity. Um, anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to open my Fat Max here. There we go. Uh, I still don't like the position of the jimping. If I move my thumb forward, this is almost a negative thumb ramp right there. Um, it's a Tonto blade on a workshop knife. This is designed for cutting into bone, stabbing. Um, keeps the, uh, the blade tip pretty much in line with the thrust vector so you are less likely to break the blade off in whatever you're stabbing. But anyway, there it is. Um, let's cut into this guy, move my object out of the way. There we go. Ta-da! What do we have here? We have got the Vera screwdriver. It's an impacting screwdriver. And let's go ahead and totally unbox it. It is the Vera 932A, um, one by 5.5 by 100. That's basically probably one millimeter here by five and a half millimeters wide there by a 100 millimeter blade length. Um, it's a solid, you know, we call this in knives a full tang. So this is connected to this. It looks like it's got this steel shank here, this collar, or excuse me, this collar that the steel shank of the driver is inserted into. Uses the same handle shape as kind of traditional Vera's. Um, the yellow, I think, is their signal for the impact screwdrivers. Um, same rubbery materials. The handles feel the same. And um, in this case, it's it's kind of a noticeably heavier screwdriver design. I don't have a snap-on one that's identical in size, so I kind of go to these two. You can see it drops right in between these two. Um, right there. Feels good in the hand, but would I whack on this thing with a hammer? Well, obviously, if you're banging on the hammer or banging on a screwdriver with a hammer, you're probably using the wrong tool. What you really want to do is bang on your screwdriver with a pair of pliers because if you're going to use the wrong tool on one end you should use the wrong tool on the other end too um, looks like it's oxide black oxide coated paint not necessarily there the bead blasting like snap-on does which um, makes it stick a little bit better um, it's got a hex shank on it and um, i'm guessing this is 10 millimeter not much of a guess, I guess, if I already knew it. But anyway, that's what's right here. So you can drop a wrench onto it to add a little bit more um, emphasis. Now, I said I paid a little over 6 bucks for this. It was under $7, including free shipping. Um, this particular guy um, is on the low end, the lowest, I think, of their pricing for these. They generally jump up to 12 15 and over 20 as you get into larger screwdrivers. Um, I already have a couple of impacting screwdrivers in the Milwaukee. I've got both the standard and the Phillips of this guy. Um, and of course, they've got their demolition screwdriver, which is really beefy, designed as a kind of a chisel that maybe you can turn some screws with um, or cut um, sheet metal. 
but I wanted something more in this size. A great truck screwdriver if you got to do stuff that might damage a screwdriver, although fill, or, um, standards you can usually bang back into shape or regrind. Phillips is a little tougher. Phillips was going to cost around, I think, $12 to $13 if I wanted to try one in this size. You can get a whole set of these things um, under 50 bucks or more if they're, they're not on sale, but um, I don't need a whole set of them. Famous last words. I thought I'd try one out and then I might end up getting more of them. I mean, that's a good, solid, hefty screwdriver. I'm, they did good work with this thing. Um, if I try, uh, let's check the uh, the connection here. I'm going to put a probe on one end. I can see that just checking the continuity here. Hold it up. Uh, put this one here and this here. So it zaps right through. Now, I guess that could be good or bad. Bad if you're uh, into some electrical work and you've got your hand wrapped around this, so this insulation doesn't matter if you can get zapped back here. I did notice on these Milwaukee's um, that I'm not getting anything through them. Um, I can get it here, and if I work at it, I can get it out here, right there, but I don't get it here on either one of these. So I'm not sure what's up. So they've obviously got some insulation, um, which for a tough screwdriver like this, that might not be a bad idea. But this one goes straight through the handle, so you could get a shock with that. Um, overall, whoops, well, it passes the drop test. Overall, um, I think it's a good size. Uh, it'll probably fit nicely in this in a truck kit or a, a vehicle kit. A um, little bit of flex there. Now these handles only go up about this far into these, if you've ever swapped one out. Um, so going all the way through, especially if this is how this works with a steel, steel collar and the shank is inserted into it, that's some serious strength. Um, I don't know if you they would bother trying to fix it if you bent it or broke it. I think they'd just give you a new one, but um, it looks like a, a really solid design, whereas this, you can see, just goes on into the handle, and I assume it goes straight up and then back. But then these things were only like 12 bucks a piece or something, so, um, you know, not a lot of high-tech science in these. But I hadn't seen one. I didn't know if you had either. Um, and so here it is. And with that, Doc out.